What up my peeps? I am the Ruckus and these are my toys. Up next and on deck we have from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Wave 2 we've got the Shocker. This is our second go round with the Shocker or um, if you want to be technical third round but uh, we'll get to that uh, at some point later down the line. Anyway what you got there, you see we got uh, Shaka on the Spider-Man retro card from uh, the old school style. You got some artwork there, Marvel Shaka, as uh, basically as he appeared in the uh, Spidey uh, 90s cartoon, which is um, more or less what this figure is based off of. Um, also... Uh, how he appeared a lot in the comics, especially back in the day. Uh, you see uh, clearly in the in the uh, in the clamshell, he's got his accessories. You can clearly see the figure. Turn to the back. You've got the Spidey logo up there. That Shocker artwork. You got the sketch that uh, shows how to uh, swap out his uh, forearms. And uh, below that, you have the uh, the other figures in this wave. It is a retro series wave, so of course there's no builder figure, uh, and you can uh, basically pick and choose what you want with no consequence of missing out on uh, an additional figure. We also have a readout, as always, which is as follows: Shocker's vibro units allow him to blast through solid metal or hurl long-range vibrational punches. But they've yet to help him defeat his eternal nemesis, the Amazing Spider-Man. Yep, even when he's teamed up with his peeps in the Superior Foes, which we're, uh, well, we already had another Shocker, so we're technically not closer to completing the Superior Foes, but um, it is another, uh, another fig, and um, some people may prefer this to the previous to the previous figure which was out wow about five years ago is that right yeah i believe so yeah five years ago the uh the first uh shocker figure came out that's crazy time really flies anyway let's get this shocker out of his packaging shocker comes with these effects that we've seen oh give or take one or two maybe a thousand times yeah, I don't think these really, uh, really uh, illustrate Shock's power set, but it is what it is. Shocker also comes with an additional set of hands slash forearm slash vibro shot gauntlets. Open hand here, and as you can see, they connect at the forearm. So we have Herman Schultz, aka the Shocker on our rotating platter, giving you the 360 treatment. So you can see uh, the design of the character here. He is uh, molded in a, uh, I guess, uh, we'll call it yellow. Yeah, sometimes like a, like a mustard yellow, I guess. And uh, he's got the, uh, the line work uh kind of like a quilt which he uh he has routinely been clowned about he also has uh um the brown um the brown paint to uh illustrate the line work and the uh like the uh kind of like vest type of uh overlay on the uh on his little quilt uh onesie if you will but, uh, and of course you've got the, uh, the gauntlets, his vibro shock gauntlets that uh, are, um, they start at his forearms and work their way down to his hands and he grips them and that's where he um, initiates his, uh, he activates his powers. And uh, yeah, same with, uh, you know, on the back he's got the belt and uh, things of that nature, but enough of uh, that, we'll uh, get them off the platter and get a close up. So here we have the Shocker up close and personal. 
so we can get a look, better look, a better detailed look at what we've got going on here. As I stated earlier, he's molded in a mustard yellow color. Uh, the head sculpt, you see the eyes are pupilless. They are painted white. He's got the, uh, the brown paint on the top. And unfortunately, I have, uh, I have a uh, blemish up there. Not happy about that. Uh, going down, you see the uh, the brown paint of his, uh, we'll call it vest, for lack of a better term. He's got the uh, line work paint uh, going down his arm. Uh, the joint is uh, molded in brown to try to match up with the uh, the paint that goes down his arm. So I'm pretty pretty happy Hasbro decided to do that. Same thing on the other side there going down and uh, looking at the uh, the hands you've got the vibro shock units and uh, his gloves are brown as you can see that both sides there going down his belt is uh, silver painted silver and, uh, and not too bad it's actually painted silver it doesn't have that cheap look so that's cool going down you see his uh, uh, brown down crotch area and uh, can I say crotch on YouTube? Yep, the crotch area, and uh, you have more of the uh, yellow mustard. Uh, the mesh lines, of course, aren't painted in. Um, sometimes in the cartoon they were painted in, sometimes they weren't. So, um, you know, and in the comics too, I said the cartoon, but the comics, especially, sometimes they were painted in, sometimes they weren't. Uh, looking down the leg, you have the line, the brown line work looking down there. And uh, you've got the silver at the top of his boots, and the boots are painted in a brown. As you can see, same thing the other side. And oh, we've got another blemish. Um, Striking pay dirt with this particular figure. I guess it happens. We all have one where the paint is just sloppy, and uh, some more sloppiness a little bit. You've got some inconsistencies down there. I don't know if you could see that. In the camera like I can see it from up here but uh, you see the big blotch so that's going to irk me unfortunately I have to admit I've been very fortunate most of the time I, I get very good paint apps and then on the back here speaking of that I've got another uh, another uh, discrepancy right there paint wise you've got that you see that mark on the rear thigh there on the left so uh, yeah batting a thousand with this particular figure so, but anyway, enough of that going down. You see he's got the silver. Looks like that's the end of my uh, bad paintwork. Turning him back around and getting him down. That's, uh, that's our shocker right there looking at his articulation. His head is on a ball hinge. He can look up that far, look down that much. Pretty good on both ways. He can 360 with the head. Not much in the way of attitude. He can get his arms out that far. He can do almost 90. He can do a 360 going around. Pretty cool. He's got a bicep swivel. He can do a 360 that way. Has double jointed pinless elbows. He, uh, he doesn't swivel at the wrist. He swivels at the forearm because that's where you're going to connect his, uh, his additional set of hands. And these are in the close fist uh, position. He's got an ab crunch that he can go forward that far which is pretty good he can go back that far which is great and we're painted all the way through that's cool let's see if we're that way in the back yes painted all the way through on the back so that's cool we've got waist swivel articulation there hips he can get out pretty far that's pretty good for shocker he can lift his leg up that far forward about 90 back pretty decently he's got the thigh cut He's got pinless double jointed knees. Gotta love that. Pinless. Swivels just below the silver of the uh, the top of the boot. He swivels just below that. He can point his toe forward that far, up that much. He's got ankle pivot. And of course, he's got holes at the bottom of his feet. To change out Shocker's uh, gauntlets, you, as I stated earlier, they come off at the forearm, so hopefully I can get this off on camera. Oh, he's up there. Oh, there we go. Got off. 
and then you just grab the other and it goes on just like that no wrist rotation but that's because he's got the gauntlet so that's understandable here's Shaka with his energy effects displayed and uh, like I said before these uh, these effects which have been used uh, just a little under a million times they just don't uh, they don't go right with uh, with Shocker's um, with his power set what we need to show is something like this custom third-party effects courtesy of can of beams for this particular effect and I didn't uh, I didn't get this uh, with Shocker in mind, believe it or not, this was actually meant for uh, for Havoc, and uh, I figured uh, when I set up my uh, Spider-Man, the uh, many foes of Spider-Man display in a detolf in my man cave, um, I figured that this uh, would look really good, um, showing him trying to blast Spider-Man. So uh, yeah, this is one of those cases where custom effects are definitely the jam here's our retro soccer next to the first soccer that we got about five years ago from the sandman build a figure wave and uh we had this version and then there was a variant where he had a uh, thunderbolts emblem uh on his belt or on his waist i should say he doesn't have a belt but it was on his waist painted on his waist and uh, it was a uh, it was a variant um, kind of like a running change but you see the differences here the costume is different where there is more brown than there is yellow and our uh, Sandman uh, version the lines are painted in but with our retro version the lines are actually sculpted in so that's cool if you want you could try to uh, I forget the name of the pen that used micro pen or something like that and attempt to uh, fill the lines in yourself. Um, there's a, uh, a video on it from a one X Scorpio on how to do that. So you could try that. Your shocker next to the other figure that I've reviewed in this wave. We've got the symbiote Spider-Man and we've got the man who started this whole Spider-Man retro series off. We've got the superposable Spider-Man. So to sum it all up, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Wave 2 Shocker is a uh, is a very uh, very nice figure. Mine has some um, some jacked up paint apps. That's one of my uh, my cons, but the figure itself pretty good. I wish the lines were painted in. The lines are sculpted, so that's a plus. So you gotta love that. Costume is based on um, using what we saw in the 90s cartoon and a lot of his comic book appearances, uh, especially classic. Um, the Sandman Build-A-Figure Wave version was more of a modern take on on Shocker. Uh, the Vibro Blasts, uh, where they detach from the, uh, the forearms and you get the open hands is a, a very nice touch. I love the silver paint of the gauntlets, the belt, and the tops of uh, Shocker's boots. I'm not crazy about the effects that we've been getting over and over and over and over and over again. Um, it is what it is, but in Shocker's case, they just, they just don't match up with his power set. So as you see here on my uh, rotating platter, I've got him with uh, custom effects courtesy of Can of Beams. And uh, yep, definitely looks much better. I suggest that uh, for uh, for a myriad of reasons, invest in um, third-party effects. Definitely will enhance your displays. Um, anyway, uh, this is Shocker from the Spider-Man Retro Series Wave Two, and uh, yeah, I'm glad to. Uh, I'm going to add him. He's going to take the place in that Detolf display that I spoke of earlier uh, from the uh, Sandman Wave Shocker. And uh, yeah, you know, out with the old and with the new. Yep. And so uh, that'll do it for this review.
Thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like this video. Share the video so we can get more people in so they can do the next thing. Subscribe to the video. If you haven't yet, please do. And uh, yeah, and then also smash the bell uh, if you'd be so inclined so you could be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues. And I am out. Peace.